happy Friday. Um, wish the sun's out, but it's supposed to warm up this weekend. Tomorrow's supposed to be a really nice day, just a little windy, so I'm looking forward to that. We're planning, uh, Mr. Weber's going to grill up some burgers. Um, so today I have a great book for you, I thought, because after all the stuff going on, and now we have to stay in our house a little bit longer, I am grumpy. So I thought it would be a great time to read Grumpy Monkey. Um, Jim is having a very bad day. So if you've read this book, it's a cute, cute book. And if you haven't, you're really going to like it because I really enjoy this book. Um, it's by Susan Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. I wonder if they're, let's see. I wonder if they're married. They must be. All right. So let's read about it. This is about a monkey called Jim Pansy. You get it? Like chimpanzee, but it's Jim, J-I-M, Pansy. Try not to get a glare in there. Grumpy monkey. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, insisted Jim. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at the way you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows. See him over there. Then he tripped over a snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why is that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, whispered, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> I'm not grumpy. Finally, Jim looked happy. But he didn't feel happy inside. I don't know. He looks really happy, does he, do you think? Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath. You should make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you so grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, 
shouted Jim. He beat his chest. <laughs> and he stormed off. Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he started to feel really sad, look at him, poor little fella. He came upon Norman. Norman was slumped, his eyebrows were bunched, and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with the porcupines, said Norman. He's got all the quills in his bottom over there. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. Look at Norman's got little bandages all over where they pulled the quills out. And he already felt better. I think the thing that I like in this book, it says, I'll probably feel better soon enough to for now, I need to be grumpy. For now, Mrs. Weber needs to be grumpy today. She'll feel better soon. She'll see you guys soon enough. This summer will hang out somewhere. All right? But right now, Mrs. Weber feels a little bit like Jim Pansy. And that's okay. That's all right. You guys have a great weekend. Get outside and play if the weather permits. Hopefully it will. And um, I'll see you on Monday. There's another... Don't tell Mr. Weber. There's another Grumpy Monkey book. It's in my card on Amazon. Probably to be purchased this weekend. And then there's another one coming out um, in like September. So if you like Grumpy Monkey, you can go look at the other ones that um, Suzanne and Max Lane wrote and illustrated. See you guys later.